Okay, so we're back to go finding Grog. Yep, welcome back and to Ocarina of Time. And he's gone. Big surprise. Who's this? I don't think, have we seen this person before? It's just one of the Kokiri. Just generic Kokiri Anybody who comes person? into the forest will be lost. Everybody will be, be will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Yeah, she tells us the same thing. But you just pulled out the thing. Mm hmm Well, she's gonna be like, bitch, it's mine. <sighs> so now we have a saw. She's like, are you gonna be one too? Teehee. No, you little bitch. Wait, if normal people turn into Stalfos in, in, the, in the forest, how come you don't? It's something weird. It's Well, remember I was like given to the great Deku tree like when he was a kid? Uh-huh. So it's probably something to do with that. Deku tree probably like blessed him or something weird, right? Okay, I, I suppose that would make sense. It, it actually doesn't make all that much sense. Just check. <laughs> well, most of what I see online is theories. I assume a lot of this game, story-wise, is stuff you just sort of have to assume. Uh, what? Oh, there you are. Look! Ran right into that tree. I didn't say she was smart. Come on, you... Okay, let's, we're gonna go give the saw to that dude. So we're heading over the Death Mountain anyway, so we'll get to that part and then okay. continue from there. Wait, who needs the saw? A uh, poacher in the Gerudo Valley. Okay. We haven't been to Gerudo Valley yet. We haven't? No. Why does that name ring a bell? Because Ganondorf's a, what, from there. I think I might also be remembering it from Hyrule Warriors. Quite possibly. I'm gonna go blow, blow up some of the shit because I think there's a fairy fountain somewhere. Traveling onwards. Onwards. To victory. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it. Boom. Ah. Kablam. Ah. It did the sound. Oh, these are ones that you have to move by hand. Pum, pum, ba, bum, bum. Come on. <laughs> Bitch. And that concludes Kelby, quietly, but up towards the mic. <laughs> It's a new segment. I don't like it. You haven't even heard it on the mic. I just don't like you. What? Play this broken bridge. Sam, you know it's useless to lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> but what about a broken bridge? Did you not see the hugely broken bridge? No, I saw it. Oh, that reminds me somehow. You know what you and I should play? Da -da 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 -da. We should play Conquer. Like, what? Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I didn't know if that's what you were talking about or what. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Look at his face. Which version would you like to play? The N64 version? I haven't played it ever, so. Really? Kyle's been telling me to play it. It's so violent. <laughs> and, like, it's even impressive that it was released on the Nintendo 64. Because that was, like, right around the time where all Nintendo games had to be family friendly. If... If you... like playing any N64 games, you should get Kyle to come and play with you. Why? Because he fucking... N64 is like... his favorite thing ever. That and the Same game here. Game. I fucking love the N64 yeah, so, so you much. And you, he'll just like <laughs> gasm all over the place playing N64. The two consoles I grew up playing that I love the most are <gasps> the Nintendo 64 
and the Sega Genesis. Mm. You know what game we should play? What's that? Star Tropics. Star Tropics. That sounds familiar. <laughs> That's the first game my mom ever completed. She's been play I bought it for her on the Nintendo store. And she's been playing it nonstop. It's hilarious. You kill things with a yo-yo. Is that on the Wii U? Uh, or what is it on? It's old. Like, incredibly old. I don't remember what system is it's it on. Google it. A NES? I think I've Google. seen it. I think I've seen it in the store. I'm gonna guess NES. I don't know. People in the uh, watching, place your bets. NES, SNES, N64. Probably not. I just, I N64. just know it's hilarious and totally worth playing because it's actually super entertaining. Tropics. Now I'm gonna quote the uh, Wikipedia page here. Star Tropics is an action adventure video game released by Nintendo in 1990 for the NES. Yeah. That's the first game my mom ever played. Really? Well, not ever played, but the first one she ever finished. Star Tropics was released on the Wii Virtual Console on January 7th, 2008, North America, and on January 11th, 2008, in the PAL region. It was released via the Wii U Virtual Console in Europe on September 3rd, 2015, and in Australia on September 4th, 2015. Did you buy it on the Wii U or the Wii? The Wii. Okay, yeah, because according to this, it seems like it's not on the North American Wii U yet. Nah, it's super good, though. It's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, she used to play all sorts of, like, old games, but this is the only one that she's actually played all the way through. I... You know what? I'm gonna quickly check what price it is on, uh... It's like two bucks. On Amazon. Oh, okay, I was gonna say on the Wii. Because, <laughs> like, I, w I want... If we did it, I'd want to do a uh, physical copy of it on my totally legit console down there. That's not a cheap knockoff <laughs> NES. But yeah... I'll see how much it costs. I'll check um, Amazon and eBay. It's so, like it's a popular game. Twelve offers from Canadian, eight seventy-five. Yeah. So it's not that expensive. No, I told you it's not like it's popular by any means. What time is it? I have to leave soon. It's two forty. Yeah. That's a, that was actually a lie. The cheapest is thirteen seventy four and free shipping. Still, it's not like that's expensive by any means. That's true. I want, no one's selling any new copies, as far as I can tell. I wonder why. Or wait, nope, no new copies. Some people on Amazon actually do sell new copies of old games, and they are expensive as hell. Run! Run! I'm good. Where, where are you running to? We're heading up this way. Shut up. Actually. Yes, I understand. Didn't she already tell you that? You broke it! I did that on purpose. How dare you? Well, well, why? I don't know. I need an excuse to break it. Well, Fuck you, Link. You, you didn't really need to break it. How much time are we at? Not even ten minutes yet. Ow! You, <laughs> you seem frustrated that that happened. Frust- Oh my god. Come on, Sam. Get it together. <sighs> it's just so unresponsive. Or it'll respond and then it'll, like, throw you off the cliff. And you're like, what? That's not even the way I was aiming, but, you know, fine. Actually... What's down the hole? There's a cow. Uh, what? No, like a literal cow. Why? Is he uh, trapped down here? Did he, like, fall down the hole and now he can't get back out because he's a cow? I forget if you have to play a Pona song for it, or a Saria song.
Why does it talk? <laughs> -da -da -da. I had an empty bottle, so I thought I'd get some milk. Okay. So yeah, you just come down here and play it the song of its people, and then you get milk. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this game is super weird. <laughs> oh shit, look out. I wonder if that's what to do with those fire clouds. Nah, couldn't possibly. These flaming Oreo bits couldn't possibly have anything <laughs> to do with it. Oreo bits? <laughs> Don't well, think that's what they're supposed to be. Well, they look like Oreo bits. Don't they? Is dead. Look what you've done. Sam, how could you? It was just living its life. And I know you love things living their lives. Yeah, but now it's dead, so I'm happy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There was a spider on the wall at my in my dad's room. Like, part okay. of the apartment. And I kind of looked at it, and it was a big spider. I was like, mm, nah. So I just left it there. Okay. So, and it just chilled there for the rest of the- also, look at this. This guy's huge. Is he crying? So, what exactly is this that we're we're witnessing? trying to get, we're getting the big Goron's blade? He he just gave us his prescription for eye drops. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That was not at all what I thought was going to come out of that. Let's go deal with Sheik first. We're, we're in like a medieval type fantasy world and he gave you a fucking prescription for eye drops. Do you have a problem? I have, I probably have many problems that I'm not going to acknowledge right now, but I don't see what that has to do with it, Sam. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I don't know what we're supposed to do anytime. Mm. Oh, now it's gone for good. Oh. Mm. Can you make it? Fuck. Perfect. The arc on that one was amazing. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I forget. What are you trying to we do? We gotta get down there, but it's time, so I think we have to go buy the tunic first. The what? There's a fire tunic you can get, and it makes you, like, invulnerable to heat. Okay. What happens if you stayed in there for the next 25 seconds? We would've died. So I guess we'll see if that's open first. Sounds like a plan. Unless... Do you want to go? Do you want to do main storyline, or do you want to go get the uh, big Goron? Do you want to go start the big Goron sword thing? I don't know. That's really up to you and how you prefer to do things. By the way, in case the people watching didn't know, this is a special extended episode. Oh, we can stop it. No, it's fine. Might as well just Ow. do an extended episode. Look at this little bitch. It. Is that one of the guys you have to stop? Yeah. How do you stop him? Do you blow him up? Yep. Perfect. Here he comes. Are any of those actually going to work? I don't know. I figured it would work. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> That's the chieftain's son. And the chieftain named. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> The Fire Temple. I've heard of this. That's where we were. I heard. Oh, listen to his crying. <laughs> and yeah. No, he's shaking. Look at how sad he is. <laughs> No, he's so cute. <laughs> I heard about the fire temple and the water temple recently from Aaron on Game Grumps. Fire's not that bad. It's just pain in the ass. He actually said that he found the fire temple to be the hardest in the game. It's just and annoying. that the water temple was a breeze for him. Hmm. He mentioned that because everyone's like, oh, water temple's so fucking hard. How oh, are you right. He just gives you the tunic if you talk to him. You don't even have to buy it. Fantastic. And then all the doors magically open. Fantastic. Thanks, little man. Such use. See, like, you can buy one here. Such use. Very Goron. Yep. So is, that, is that what you were going for earlier? No, just no. such use. He's so useful. Don't do it. Don't do it. I thought you were going to say penis. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was trying to think of what to do. And then I made that weird noise. Well, we done it. We did what? Did we get the sword now? No, we got the tunic. Is, oh, that's why we came here. Is it red? And mm -hmm. you put it on? Mm -hmm. Does it make you red yeah. instead of green? Is there a third one? Yeah. Guess what the other one is. I'm gonna guess it's blue. Yeah. Guess what it does. I don't know. It lets you stay underwater. Whoa! How can a tunic possibly have that power? <laughs> <laughs> like, with, with heat resistance, it's somewhat understandable. Like, it could be a heat resistant material. I think it's you can stay underwater. But, like, how could a tunic possibly make you stay underwater? I don't know. But we'll go talk to Sheik, and then we can end the episode. Sound good? Okay. Sounds like a plan. And then I'll probably go until next time. Yes. When do you upload these? It's like one, once every day, or once every how many days? I'm still trying to figure that out. Mm. It's usually three... It's... A rotation of three at the moment and uh, with that rotation it's two every day in a rotation of three so every 1.33 no every 0.66 days is every time it gets uploaded I think would be the how it's divided or you can why wouldn't you just do one like every couple days well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with every 0.66 days. Or is it 1.33 days? I don't even fucking know. Mm. Something to do with fractions. Well, I just figured. Because we don't have that many episodes. What do you mean we don't have that many ep Oh, yeah, you mean just recorded from this session. Mm -hmm. uh, but as of this recording session, people are watching Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, now there's no time. We're fine. Oh, fantastic. Now we get to blow that up, right? Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah. <laughs> that was so well done. Exactly. I'm very it's... impressed. Is that a beehive? Yeah. Why does it look weird? I got bumps. Can you eat it? Yes. Is that an actual answer? 
Or is that a, an answer to make me sound stupid? I <laughs> I don't know what you were trying to go for with this, so... I was sure. asking you if you could eat that beehive. Oh, the bee... I thought you were talking about the bomb. I was like, what the fuck are you no, on, No, the Kelby? beehive. Okay, we're not... I don't think you're as much of a crack whore now. It's okay. Look at this! I wonder what that could mean. Oh, it's just a stone. Nobody fucking cares about those. I'm sure somebody somewhere does. I certainly do not. We're just gonna not go that way. Oop! Oop! Oh, oh that's no. gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. What have you done? It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Oh, okay. It just brought me back to where I wanted to go. It's fine, then. And the solution was killing yourself. Those are some uh, good life lessons, Nintendo. What the fuck? Get up there. What? Uh. Well, that didn't work. I can see that. I actually don't quite remember where to go from here. Cause we gotta get down. There's there. a heart piece. Did you see it? No. It's on top of that thing. I saw it. Okay. Can I just jump down there? Can we? Is that a thing? I I probably mentioned it in a previous episode, but I'm tired. <laughs> so tired. So, what exactly do you need to do? I gotta get down to that area, and I don't know how. How? You almost I was had so it. close. I'm gonna try that again. That leap of faith almost had it for you. It's hilarious, because I don't think you're actually supposed to do that. Well, either way, you're gonna do it. Damn straight. Okay. So like There it is. Gotta get a running start and then go. And now what? Can you hook shot anywhere from here? You damn right I can. Guess what? What? Oh wait, it was up and down, right? Um, I don't fucking remember. That's where he's, he's supposed to show up over there. Maybe you're supposed to do that first. You mean put Navi over there? You just gotta move into a spot where Navi is. Over there, I think. Or something, I don't even know. Navi, you fucking useless. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah. Why is that? My hearts are really low. That is a very accurate observation. This is the bottle. I don't know what it does. You know what? We fucking got milk for this. Yes, milk. You did it. And now how do we get anywhere? Don't remember. If there's something else you have to do, you should Google it. I, I, th I know we're supposed to be getting like <sighs> gloves or something. Do I have to Google it? What, where, where are we? Death Mountain? Oh wait. Death Mountain walkthrough. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Well, I got a heart piece. Do you even need the walkthrough anymore? I do, because I still don't know how to get over there. Well, how much of that wall is climbable? Whole thing. Right into the lava. We are actually in Death Mountain, correct? Mm hmm Is this an optional optional place to be? No. This is how you get to the fire temple. 
Okay, in that case, I need the fire temple walkthrough. <laughs> because I was looking for Death Mountain walkthrough, and that doesn't exist in text form, so... Do you ever get it where it's loading a, a, a page and then your iPhone just lags and won't let you scroll down or anything? Yes. I fucking hate that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the fourth temple is done. You head back to the temple time. Two going out of the way. I want you to press the pedestal time. Which she explains will allow you to build the temple. The Zell stuff we already did. So yeah. now I gotta figure out. If you've been following this walkthrough thus far, you should have collected 53 skull tokens. No. <laughs> How many do you have? Like 23. Why do we need 50? It doesn't say you need them. It's just if you, he's just mentioned that. No, f tell him fuck off. We didn't. We're not. Yeah, tell this pre-made walkthrough to fuck off. <laughs> you should <laughs> comment on it. I don't even know if I can comment on it. Anyways, on here. where are you? Where are you going exactly? Do you remember Here, where you need to- give me this. Look at- Walk uh, around. What, what- Just do it. How do you- Try- have fun trying to find out anything on that walkthrough. Oh, well, let me- Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's lagging like crazy, I keep telling you. I'm just running around, running around in circles. Uh. Would you be mad if I just uh, jumped it right off the edge and into the lava? Oh fuck! What? We're in the wrong spot. Oh fuck! Where do we need to be? Ah, uh, yeah, we, we were in the right spot, and I fucked it up. Wait, we were in the right spot? Is I what? Totally you... forgot. Oh fuck! It's fine. No, I don't. I'm not did talking to you. Did we have to talk to him again? No. Why did we have to wait for him to get up then? Because we walked past him and it's like a trigger. We triggered him. <sighs> He's so triggered right now. Forgot you can't get to it from there. You have to go in the fucking chief's room and pull back the stupid fucking statue. God, it's been a while since I played this. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we can get that Skulta since we're here. Sounds like fun. Do you see him? Yes. Ah! Oh well, okay, we're not getting him right now. Can't you kill him with an arrow and then use the hookshot to get the, the token? The hookshot doesn't reach up that high. Oh. Like, what would have made you think of doing that? Hey, look! You moved the E.T. statue! Oh look, we're down to where I wanted to be. Whoa! Crazy! Why didn't you grab that heart? What? Because I'm not an efficient player. Fuck off, okay? Oh my- Oh, that arrow's gone now. Whoa! This is my favorite song in the whole game. The Bolero of Fire. Is this Sheik's whole purpose is to teach you new songs? Yep. And she tells you meaningful stuff. See? It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. How is that useful? I don't see how it applies to the game, really, at the moment. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero of Fire. Sounds like fun. Do, 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 do. That one seems a little bit more complex than a lot of the other ones we've been learning. But, okay. This is like my favorite part.
Don't you love those cutscenes? It's supposed to be like super meaningful and stuff. It's like these choppy fucking like camera cuts. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but it is my favorite. Like them like kind of dueling off with it. It's awesome. Come on, Sam. It was the 90s. It was a different time. It was a time of like, whoa, radical. <laughs> That was so tight, man. That's what she, that, I was gonna say that's what she said, but no. Cowabunga! You know all that shit. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came right out of that that stuff. Disgusting. <laughs> Do you want me to show? Don't you? don't fucking talk bad about fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja, Tur Fuck. Ninja Turtles. What? Link, you had that. <laughs> you piece of shit. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What? Paved the way. I think we for should. Mutant Ninja Turtle tolerance everywhere. I think we should probably save because I'm pretty done with this. <laughs> you just can't. You can't. You, you want to end the episode here? Probably. Okay. Next time on Legend of Zelda, we're gonna do the Fire Temple. We're going to treacherously go through this treacherous volcano of treachery. <laughs>